Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show, where we are having confessions and conversations about your everyday life and finances. Uh, my name is Yamitra Jojo Waddell, the only Live Past Crazy Special, so what better place to be than here with me? I hope you guys are ready to get the day started. I know I am. Then Rosie said, you want to say good morning, Rosie? Rosie wasn't feeling too good this morning, so at least now she's feeling she's feeling a little bit better than she was. Nothing like a little breakfast, because she's been sick, and Mommy is queen of we're not getting sick in this house, so let's take every natural, everything that we got. A little bit too much on the empty stomach, but that's neither here nor there. At least she is feeling better. Rosie. Hey. <laughs> Hey, y'all. Good morning. Good morning, Kim. This morning time for real. This time I got a message yesterday. I don't know if you saw it, JoJo. She yeah, sent I did. A message <laughs> asking if we were all right and, and where we at. And it was, uh, she took a nap, y'all. She took a nap. That nap must have been all the way good because she was all up the in, way live. And she was looking for the Fearless Morning Show. It was 7 30 p.m. on the East Coast. And she was like, where y'all at? Yeah, she was sleeping good, but thank you, Kim. Thank you for joining us. At least, at least we know somebody is looking out for us. Somebody right. knows, like, wait a minute, hold up. It's something right around me. Kim was like, are you okay? I was like, Am I, uh, did I say something was wrong? Did I, you know, <laughs> like, right. girl, I took a nap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sleep must have been good, though, right? She was all the way rested like it was the next day. <laughs> all right y'all well good morning and thank you for joining us our fearless morning quote y'all i'm out here um walking and normally there are a lot more people out here walking i'm like where the regular crew at there's normally a crew of folks out here that i can at least count on to see their cars um mm -hmm. you see, and I don't even see them today. Maybe the weather change uh, got them to stay in the house a little bit. I don't know. But anywho, our fearless morning quote this morning, y'all, is most of the important things in life or in this world have been accomplished by people who kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. <laughs> Amen. And that's by Dale Carnegie. Let me say that again. Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. Yes, y'all. I said, wow, that's a very good one this morning because a lot of times. Uh, people feel, you may feel as if you're in a hopeless situation. You may feel overwhelmed and stressed by everything that's happening. Guys, can I tell you, I get it. <laughs> can I tell you that I get it? When the situations and everything comes at you at once in your life, everything starts happening all at once. It seems like by the time you get this one thing up, it's like the domino effects. Y'all ever play dominoes? You know when you play dominoes, you knock one down, and then they all, it just, right? The whole thing just falls down. And sometimes that's what it feels like. And I can understand being inside of a hopeless situation. But I also know, just like I know I'm walking up this hill and I'm about out of breath. And you might be feeling like that in life, like you're walking up the hill and you're about out of breath. But y'all, I can see the top. Yeah, <laughs> I can see the top. And that motivates me to keep going. Don't mean to sound cheesy this morning, but I thought that was just a good quote to remind those who are, you know, saying that this may be too much. They're thinking about, okay, guys, I, I might want to give up. But just keep going. Right? Just keep going. Good morning. Um, so what I want to talk to y'all about today uh, for the financial confession and conversation Yes, I'm Lynn Demons, America's number one financial rebound coach. Yeah, I said it, even though I'm all out of breath. Y'all, yes. I'm going to work this thing out. I just don't understand this. I already thought I was in shape. Well, this hill is telling me otherwise. Okay. <laughs> and the, um, 
conversation this morning is money is a tool. So why not let it work for you? And I want to share with you two guys a research study that I found. And I want to go over some of the facts from that study. I thought it was interesting. So this study, a survey was completed by um, TD Ameritrade. Okay. You guys know a TD Ameritrade. We talked about them before, right? It's an investing platform. Uh, our monopoly money, you know what I'm talking about, right? Go on there and trade with your monopoly money. Well, they did a survey, and they actually surveyed 1,500 millennials, okay? And in those, and I know 1,500, you say, well, there's millions of people, billions of people on the earth. Why are they going to do 1,500? Okay, let that go. That's the sample size. But we're going to look at what they found, okay? So in looking at that, let me stop for a second. These millennials were ages 21 to 37, okay? So that gives you some type of context of the, the mindset and mentality of the individuals they talk to. But what they found, y'all, were those who listen to classical music. Good morning, Carl. Those who listen to classical music felt more financially secure. And you may be saying, well, duh, Lynn, right? Only, only rich people listen to classical music. Well, that's a dumb I moment, right? Well, that's a dumb moment. Well, let me give you some more facts in regards to what they found, okay? They said that two-thirds of classical music lovers said that they were financially secure. 59% of those who are electronic music listeners felt that they were financially secure. 40% of those who listened to the 80s and the 90s music said that they were financially secure. Get this last statistic. Those who listen to hard rock, rap, country music, they reported feeling the least financially secure of all of those groups of music listeners. Wow. Exactly. So let me go wow. back through that again, y'all. And this was with My those love. millennials. And there's some more interesting facts inside of this uh, survey, inside of the study that they completed. But what they're saying, guys, is basically your classic music lovers. What they were saying is they were reporting that they needed $171,000 to feel financially secure. That's basically what they're saying they're earning on average. For country music listeners, uh, the rap, country music, rap, and hard rock listeners needed $58,000 to feel financially secure. Okay? Wow. So I, I need you to just think about that for a moment. I'm not saying anything. I'm not insinuating anything. I just want you to think about that for a moment. Think about that information. Think about those numbers and what is it really saying? And if you really want to be somebody, you know, who has their finances in order, I got to watch out for these geeks around here because they are <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> Right, they are aggressive. They um, sound really close. Yes, yes, they were. It was a whole flock of them just flying by. I don't know what they're doing, but I'm watching because they look like they're getting into formation, like it's a gang war out here. They're getting in formation, <laughs> <y 'all. laughs> What? Okay, anyway, they, they're taking me off my ground, but I gotta watch them just in case something takes off or takes off or whatever you want to call it. So, if you want to be someone essentially, based upon this research, if you want to be someone who has their finances in order, I don't know that suggesting to you go out there and listen to you some Bach and Beethoven is really going to help you. It might make you look like, right? It might make you it look like. Brain waves when right? you listen to classical music. It does. It does, it does increase it. that. That is definitely a research-based fact. <laughs> right that has been proven over or it's been suggested over and over that that's what happens when you listen to classical music and that was that was what that's why i don't know if any of you um have noticed when you were having a baby all of the baby music 
that they gave you was classical music. All of the baby music that I had from my little one was classical music. And my husband was like, why are you letting him listen to that? I said, well, we either going to be listening to classical music or we're going to be listening to gospel music up in here. We don't have any other choices. <laughs> he was like, all right. <laughs> right? But I don't know if you noticed that, but that's what they do with all of the baby music, all of the baby CDs that you go back in the day. So my baby's eight now. So back then it was on CDs and that was fine. We didn't have to go to the iPods and go to the cloud and all these different places to download music just to have music. It was on the CD back then, right? Do anybody this, do you still have CD players in your car today? Okay, anyway, I digress, right? So if you want to be someone who does, you know, have their finances in order, what I highly suggest or recommend is that you start doing the work to get it done. And how do you do the work to get it done? How do you first First of all, you can schedule and have a conversation with me. Go to bit.ly slash talk to Lynn so we can set up this discovery call so you can get started. And the reason that I say set up a call to talk to me is because our research also tells us that people who read books and say they're going to do work, guess what percentage of them actually do it? Four percent. Rosie said woolen. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Rosie is a little bit less <laughs> enthusiastic <laughs> about it than I am. But it's, the research says that suggests that 4% of people actually follow through when after they read and a book shares something with them to do. So what it's actually saying that 96% of people are not going to follow through. So if you're of that 96% of people, and that's a lot of people, right, who are not going to follow mm -hmm. through and do things on their own, that's why you have to have opportunities to connect with other people, to get in the room or be able to talk to other people so that they can have these conversations with you and you can start thinking differently about what it is that you're doing. Good morning, Charlene. Thank you for joining us. So we have that opportunity for you. And it's a free discovery call, guys, bit.ly slash talk to Lee, and that's where you need to go. But I want you to have some things in mind before you come and start asking yourself some questions because you have to know this, that time is going to go quickly. And you have to know what it is that you really want to do. So the first question before you go and schedule that call, the first question, the first thing that you need to ask yourself is what is it that I want to focus on? So what's going to be the priority for you? What's that one thing that you need to deal with, right? When it comes to your money and your finances. Because essentially, if we cannot decide what it is that we're focusing on, guys, you know what we end up being? Jacks of all trades and masters of none. And until we actually recognize and identify what it is that we need to focus on, then things will continue to go awry. You'll continue to be overwhelmed and nothing will essentially get done. So this is how you get things done generally, right? How do you get things done? And the second thing that after you decide what it is you're going to focus on, what does it mean to you? What does it mean to you? Why are you doing this? What meaning will it bring to you? What meaning will it bring to your life? What meaning will it bring to your community? What meaning does it have for you? And how is it going to make your life different? Right? Ultimately, the reason we do things is because we want to change. Because something is not right. Something is not going in the way that we want it to go. Right? Or we want to up level. We want things to be better. We want things to go better. We want things to look better, to be better. Right? And that's the reason that you go through and change. So you have to identify what it is you want to focus on. That's first. Second, you have to identify what it means to you. And the third thing that you need to identify is what are you going to do? How are you going to get anywhere if you don't know what you're going to do? How are you going to go? How am I going to get over there from here to, let's see if I can do this. How am I going to get from here to there if I don't figure out the path that I need to take, right? How am I going to figure out where it is that I need to go? I'm trying to get over here. Jojo, no, I'm not going to the swings again today. <laughs> I, how do I know, right, how am I going to get there? So you have to decide what it is that you are going to do. So what are the steps that you're going to take to get where you would like to go, essentially? 
And the number one thing that research also, I know you say, Lynn, you're sharing a lot of us, and there's another one of them things. The geese. That's probably why a lot of people not out here today. I must have missed a report or something. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the uh, number one thing that suggests, guys, how are you going to do something? How do you set up a plan to do something? Is to challenge yourself. So I want to give you a challenge today and over the next 30 days to take these simple steps, right? Because those small changes are going to lead you to what we call sustainable results. See, the challenge for many of us is we try to do things too quickly. We try to get in there and we want to get it done as quick and fast in a hurry as possible. And I'm all about getting things done expeditiously. I hear you. However, I also know that there is a process that you have to go through and you have to do these things step by step. So if you make small changes, those changes will become sustainable things that you can now do in your life, in your finances, your relationships, your health. It doesn't matter, guys. This applies in all different areas. And that's one of the reasons that I come on here and teach guys money is a tool for us. And it's a tool that you have to learn how to use. You were not born knowing how to use a hammer. And dare I say, the first time you use a hammer, more than likely you hit your thumb. And that hurt, right? That hurt because you missed the head of the nail and you hit your thumb. You hurt, You hit your own finger. The same thing happens in your finances. You missed the boat in your finances and that's okay because it's a learning process money is a tool you have to learn how to use it in the same way you have to learn how to use any other tool so take some time out to get started guys and learn exactly what it is even if you don't believe in the research that i shared with you right even if you don't believe in the statistics even if you don't believe the fact that only 26 percent of people will retire with enough money to live the lifestyle that they want to live. That's okay, keep on living, you'll see. Well, you'll say, well, dang, America's number one financial rebound coach was right. She tried <laughs> to tell me, and I didn't yeah. listen, right? You're gonna say that one day if you don't follow through on these, these simple, practical steps, tips and strategies that we giving you. So go to bit.ly slash talk to Lynn, y'all. I know a little bit about what I'm talking about. Other, otherwise, I wouldn't be on here trying to share this with you, trying to help the community out, community out because there are some deep-seated issues that many of us have that we have to overcome in order to, to get to our next level, y'all. Go to bit.ly slash talk to Lynn. And if you are ready, guys, you know I also teach about investing. You ready to go ahead and get started investing? Go to bit.ly intro slash intro to investing so that you can go ahead and get started, get that introductory course started. Schedule some time to talk to me about what your next steps are so we can help you get this thing all the way right, y'all, because it's not just about me. It's not just about my community. It's about helping as many people as we possibly can to get to their next level. That's one of the main reasons that we started this Fearless Morning Show. We want to turn this into a movement where our people no longer perish because of the lack of knowledge. Right? That's right. We want to take this opportunity, y'all, to make sure we get the word out because we know some of y'all will read, some of you won't read, and if you do read, you won't do. So you need, somebody behind, <laughs> you need somebody behind you to help you, to push you, to help you to face what it is that you're dealing with, right? And that's what we're here to do. So go to bit.ly slash talk to Lynn, y'all. We'll help you get this thing all the way right. And remember, money is a tool. Make it work for you. All right, guys, I'm Lynn Demons, America's number one financial rebound coach. Yes, I said it. America's number yeah. one. All right, Miss JoJo, over to you. All right, I love that quote, by the way. That was, can you read it one more time? Because I'm sorry, you got it? I, I, I dropped it. I have it right here. Because <laughs> you know I had to write it down because I'm out here trying Good to Good morning, this. everybody. Good morning, Mama. Good morning, Charlene. Good morning, Cousin Carl. 
So most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. That's Dale Good. Carnegie, y'all. Let me tell you, that should be a little inspiration for somebody today. Right. Keep trying, because you are making a difference. Whether you think you are or not, you're making right. a difference. Absolutely. And if you just go the next step, I promise, there is a little light at, at the end of that. I promise, and it, it will help you. So today, I had two fearless thoughts for today, and I couldn't decide which one I wanted to do. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go, this one kind of aligns with... Um, with something we talked about for the whole week is you're trying, I want you to think about this. We are all trying to upgrade our life, right? We are upgrading our life and our finances. We're trying to live past crazy. we got a lot going on, but while we're upgrading our life, some of us are insistent on bringing along things that destroy the first place. Girl, you know, somebody say A to the man on this. Nah, A to the man, nah. right? Yeah. I'm just saying, you you have told me you living past crazy. You told me you're not staying in that crazy relationship. You have said this is it. This is the last time. I'm not right. doing this no more. You have told me that. And you start on that journey. And as sure as my name is JoJo, you take 20 steps. And you're like, wait a minute, I forgot my crazy. Hold on, let me go get it. And you go pick your crazy right back up. <laughs> Girl, don't make me fall out out here. Hold on, <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on, wait a minute, I forgot my right. crazy. Let me and put some crazy in it, it right? <laughs> right. You, and you go right back and get it. Like, it's your, because yes. some of us, crazy has become our security blanket it has become right. our comfort level yeah. because we know crazy because we've adjusted to it because we know how to interact within it we know how to live with it we know how it's going to interact with us and we know the outcome right but when you stay and that's why it sometimes change is so hard because you are forcing your brain to say <laughs> jojo we're, we're doing something different Jojo, you going to work out today. And Rosie can, well, she's asleep right now. But Rosie could be a testament to this. You know, I'm working out today. As soon as I get home, Rosie's like, we working out? I'm like, girl, no, I ain't working out. <laughs> and that's the same thing as picking up your crazy. You, you know, force your brain to a new way of thinking. And your brain and your body is all excited. Yeah, let's do this. I'm calling Lynn. We're going to get this investment started. I'm not living paycheck to paycheck. I'm not going to be like JoJo in that Dollar Tree in the dollar menu. I'm not going to be like JoJo living in crazy with crazy husband. And you're going to give it all up. Right. And then by the time 5 o'clock roll around, you done <laughs> went back and picked up your crazy. And y'all both eating in the dollar menu chilling with some ice cream i'm wow. just saying <laughs> and so guys on this journey as you level up as you start to change your mind please be mindful that you cannot take who albert einstein said you cannot solve the problem with the same thinking that created the problem Meaning that's insanity i'm not gonna find the answer over here yeah what'd you say Lou? i said that's insanity that's insanity, insanity. Yeah. And that's crazy. Insanity is crazy. And some of y'all wonder why you're crazy. I was wondering a long time while I was crazy. That's because I kept going back and getting my crazy to take it right. with me. And here, here it is. Your crazy could be that one friend that you know you need to let go of that keeps you as soon as you like the dog on the chain, he know how far he can go on that chain before it jerk him back. And you the same way. You're allowing that friend, you're allowing that situation, you're allowing that relationship to take you so far before it jerks you back. And then you left sitting over there coughing like, what just happened? I thought I was trying to get my life together. Right. No, ma'am. Some things you're going to have to, it may take you going back and digging up that chain and taking it all with you so it ain't hooked to nothing else when you leave, honey. And get all of your life together. Right. But if you're not committed to do the work, yeah. this is what's going to happen. One day we're going to have to reenact that, JoJo. We're going to have to do a reenactment of what it yeah. looks like 
when you yes. let your friends go. <laughs> that those Girl. so-called friends, right? Those so-called friends. Sometimes it's that so-called family that you gotta let go. If we're gonna be real for just one more moment, right? Hey to the man, honey. Yes. Hey, let me tell you. And when I let my friends go, and it was the hardest thing in the entire world, world. for me to do. <laughs> when I tell you, I felt like I wanted to go crawl in my mama lap and just cry because they my friend. I can't let them. But when the peace that came after that, I right. was like, well, shoot. I should have did this a long time ago. Yep. But because you so caught up trying to bring them with you, huh? Yeah, you want to say something? Okay. If you still, if you, <laughs> Rosie was talking to me. <laughs> but if you are committed, guys, to do something different, you cannot take those some of those things with you. So you need to do an assessment of what you're taking with you yeah. and what you're leaving behind. And let's look at it this way, Lynn. Why do we keep starting over on the same thing all the time? And, and you're right, sometimes it is your family. It doesn't mean you love your family any less. Please understand that. Right. It just means you may need to remove yourself momentarily while you get your stuff together. And then when mm -hmm. you get yourself together, it makes you stronger to then handle some of the things that, that mm -hmm. used to knock you down. Right. And your family will not understand that. They won't. So don't even try to explain it to them. You got, this is a personal journey. Some of it you got to do on your own. But as you're trying to level up, please don't go back and pick up your crazy. Be mindful of the things that you're doing. Don't be like, hold up, wait a minute. Right. Let's Don't put no more crazy in it. Don't put no more crazy in it, honey. All kind of broken verbs and everything else there. But you know what it is. You know you what, know what we saying. mean. That's yes. right. You got to love them from a distance. That's right, Charlene. You got to love them from a distance. So you've got to make sure that you are handling your business. All right, guys, that is it for the Fearless Morning Show this morning. I hope Rosie is talking about this short lady, and I'm trying to talk, and she make me feel good because the lady is so much. She, She's if so I'm cool. five two, she got to be three nine. She not three nine. She at least four feet. She is so adorable. She slept for me the other day. Oh, did she? Yeah. She ain't. <laughs> she ain't no taller than her car. The trunk of her car and her I was almost the same height. I was about so to say, means. JoJo, you're not taller than your car, so why are you tripping? Hey, 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 Lynn. <laughs> Let's stay focused. We talking about the short lady over here. <laughs> not me. Oh, okay. I'm just saying. Just saying. <laughs> All right, guys. Yes, I'm sure I'm fine too, but she a good foe. Her suit, her roll of suitcase is shorter, is taller than she is. No, Love you. Give me kisses. <laughs> Have a good day. Be peaceful. Love you. And watch it crossing the street because these people are crazy. All right, guys. I made a list of everything that I'm supposed to do by the end of the year. So I got my zip liner. I got my roller coaster. I got my indoor skydiving. And I got swimming. You put it on there right to the, okay. You put it on. You always were skipping over that skydiving thing. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I show take that with you because I don't want it. Love you. Have a great day. All right. Uh, yeah, because I, I was trying. To, I was like, let me go ahead and get that over with. So me and Lynn will be sitting down to do schedules, by, and we're going to have it all together by the end of the week so that you guys know where we are, what we're going to be doing, and where we're going to be doing it at so y'all can come and hang out with us. Now, let me tell y'all something, Fearless Morning Show. Don't have me out here roller coaster, skydiving, and zip lining, and don't nobody show up because I'm coming to everybody's house because I know most of y'all. I'm really? coming and I'm showing out in your front yard. I'm just saying, somebody please, has got to show up with me. Please go live if she show up at your house. Please. <laughs> Charlene, don't trip. I know. Here's a car. Don't make me come hunt y'all down now. <laughs> Somebody better show up and hold my hand because I got a feeling Lynn gonna be too busy laughing to even help a sister out. She ain't even yeah. gonna be about me. Yes, I'm coming to Alabama, honey. Sorry. Hold fast. What happened? <laughs> Lynn, what happened? <laughs> oh gosh, she she just jogging by. I didn't see her. <laughs> yeah. I was about to be running faster than she was, but uh yeah. <laughs> I saw you 
job. I thought something was attacking you. I didn't hear her. I didn't see her. She she has her earphones on too, and she just jogging. I was like, Lynn, ain't you looking forward? Where did she come from? She comes she comes up from behind me, but she didn't come up in my camera view because I was paying attention to you. Oh. She I didn't see it either. Girl, y'all was about to see some kung fu crazy up there. <laughs> y'all, and this what? is why we love the morning show. Yep. Charlie, you know we all the way live. It's the only way. It's the only way to start this Wednesday morning. All right, Lee. Like, anything else you want to tell them before we start right. this show? Guys, nothing else here, guys, except thank you for spending time with us this morning. We know your time is your most precious commodity. You can't get these minutes back, and you decided to spend them with us, and we appreciate you for that. Don't forget to continue to always join us here for the Fearless Morning Show at 7.15 a.m. Go subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let me say it correctly to our YouTube channel, y'all, because we, we got all of y'all over there. You, you ask me where the replay is at. Go over to YouTube. Yes. They over here on our Facebook page, too, the Fearless Morning Show. Go like that so you can receive the notifications, know where we are at all times. Yeah, that's Thank you right. so much, guys. Please go watch those YouTube channels and share them with your friend. Remember, if you know anybody that's living in crazy, send them on over here. We're going to help get their life all the way together, at least give them some information, help them get started on the way. All right, guys, I hope you have a great Wednesday. Lynn, please pay attention so you ain't knocked over, Lord, and the flying geese. You got all kind of problems over there. See, I, I'm not scared, Charlene. I'm just, I'm you know. I'm you scared. Know. You have to be vigilant these days because people are crazy. You see so many things happening on TV. They found a body this morning at, at the park, another little girl. I mean, it, you, got, you have to be, yeah, you got to be careful. Y'all, you know it's crazy. You, yeah, cautious. Out of an abundance yep. of caution. That's what I always say. Oh, you shoot. Know what? What's wrong now? Girl, I think I spilled in some geese poop. Oh, <laughs> Lord, you done scared me. I'm trying to fix my visor because I got short people problems. Oh, it, right. it don't protect I, me from the sun I'll at all. You, we got to end the show. I <laughs> Before you hurt yourself. Man. <laughs> Y'all have mama a just, good... <laughs> Like your say, mama said what? You used to say, you made a mess and you stepped in it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Literally, please take your shoes off before you get in the car, please. Girl, they will be clean before I get to the car. Don't even. Ooh, yeah. It, happy Wednesday, y'all. It's going to be a good day. <laughs> it is. It's a wonderful Wednesday already. Yes, it, it really is. is. All, All right, guys. guys. Uh, have a good day, and we'll see you here bright and early in the morning. What, right. what is it now, Lynn? Signing off, y'all. That's it. Bye. <laughs> Okay. <laughs>